Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be looking at a couple of Legend League attacks and getting some hints, uh, tips and tricks to doing the Queen Charge hybrid attack in Legend League. And first off, I'm going to tell you that on my second channel, Raze Gaming 2, I've been posting a couple of or a daily videos of all, almost all my triples in Legend League on that day and just posting them uh, the next morning. So. If you want to check those out, then you can subscribe using the link in the description below. Uh, but for now, we're going to check out these tips and tricks and how to use them in Legend League. So first replay is of a base that's uh, kind of like shaped like a diamond. So what you want to do on these types of bases generally is coming in from the side area, which can be a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky to funnel and that's on purpose. but. Usually if you just place your queen there and just let her walk around, then eventually you'll be able to figure out which buildings to take out on the way with your baby dragon and wizard and stuff in order to actually get her into the right spot um, or into a spot where you can still do the hybrid attack effectively. So in this case, I was able to get the queen into the town hall compartment or the area where she could reach the town hall without getting in the way of uh, too many expos or the single inferno so after that taking down the uh, dropping the king down take a couple of a couple of um, trash buildings and then setting all the hybrid into the core of the base so that's basically the uh, the most effective way I've seen of doing the hybrid attack uh, on these sort of diamond shaped bases queen on one side king on the other sort of and then having the siege barracks with the hogs inside that'll eventually reinforce the hogs in the middle and having all those hogs and miners in the middle uh, right away really helps in taking down the core defenses pretty quickly and then that eventually leads to a three star if you uh, do it properly and if you get your heal spells right so here we have a tesla farm in the middle of the base which kind of changes a bit uh, of the pathing because you didn't really know it, that it was there and then you couldn't really plan for that at all so we'll have to come back for that later but the rest of the army is moving through uh, quite smoothly so we're gonna be able to take out the rest of the base without the uh, requirement of using all those free spells that's another thing we, we didn't have to use any free spells on the Queen Charge so we could use them wherever you want with the minor army which I think is more valuable um, yeah, often more value than a uh, heal spell in some cases because uh, you can on some bases you can freeze the eagle and a scatter shot or something uh, in conjunction and that can be a lot of value so you're going to look at how to deal with a ring base it's a very similar type of strategy to deal with this ring base first we're going to take out the cc with the queen and we're able to do that on this base without any or outside of range of any defenses so that's what we're going to do so the biggest problem with these with queen charging directly into an outside cc is when there's like three expos or a scatter shot right in the middle right in the way of the uh, queen so then she has to deal with that at the same time as the as the cc you'll, you'll see that a lot in corner bases with those diamond shapes you have like the, all the heroes on the outside right uh, defending the clan castle even though the clan castle is lurable you can't really attack it straight from that corner because of all the dps in the area but in this case we're going to let the queen walk see uh where she chooses gonna go up so that means what we're gonna do is just let the queen walk up and it uh and the way we're going to deal with the rest of the base, or the core of the base really is the uh, main factor, is we're just going to let the queen walk around, and we're just going to drop everything into the core at the same time. In order to do that a little bit faster, we're going to drop the king at the top, along with another breaker and the CC as well. So that'll take out the top portion a little bit faster than usual. And then, although we only have a minute and a half remaining, we are going to be able to get this done with a, a bit of time to spare. And that is because, and also 
uh, pop the queen ability early because there's the bomb and the scattershot combination at the same time. So it would have killed our queen, probably. So rage and heal in the middle of the base, that's definitely enough to take over the core. Freeze over the um, skellies and the town hall. Be able to get a little bit less damage off, and then warden over the town hall bomb. So king and queen are, or well, queen only at this point, still going strong at the top. And she's just going to be able to take out that whole side of the base. We're left with another heal spell and a free spell remaining. And we're probably just going to save this, uh, this balloon for cleanup, because we may need it. But with 30 seconds remaining, we're probably going to be fine. Uh, if you noticed before, we started the minor portion, the minor and hog portion at uh, 111. And we're going to finish this off at around 115, or uh, sorry, 13, 12, 12 seconds. So it took about a minute in order to uh, actually get the rest of this base done. Here, we're doing another uh, diamond shaped base. And this is the strategy, and we're going to use this this time as well. So queen up at the top, mostly because there's not much DPS around there. So we're able to take out quite a few buildings without using a rage spell or a free spell. And now we're just gonna let the queen walk around. Getting these coconut, coconut loons in front of the healers to suck up any black mines. Queen's taking down the 80 so that balloon can get a little bit farther. And the BD helps get the Queen into that Archer Tower area, which is where we want to break in. And then breaking in there doesn't do much for us, but it does allow us to get into the Town Hall compartment eventually. So we don't so we may not get stuck in the uh, the area in the Archer Tower area where we may just target onto the scatter shot and then just never uh, never leave that area. So after that, we're going to have to deal with something a little bit difficult. So we're going to... The queen is eventually going to go into all this DPS at the bottom. So instead of just letting her... Um, instead of just using rage spells and free spells to keep her up, we're going to do the minor portion and the hog portion at the same time as the queen. So we have to do a little bit more of focusing on the queen. Or... We're trying not to do as much focusing on the queen. We're trying to do uh, multiple things at the same time. But that's the only way that we're going to be able to tank for the queen in uh, in enough time for the hogs to get through the base. And so we have enough time to spare on the rest of the attack. So the queen is eventually going to be able to survive this area. And help the free spell. We're going to be able to get through the bottom portion with the hybrid. That'll eventually lead to getting the rest of the space taken out pretty quickly. So now we have the hybrid and some cleanup troops. And we have two spells left for just like six or seven defenses. Nine defenses. So yeah, but they're all very far apart. So uh, not doing any significant damage to the hogs. So now we have an extra rage spell we may not have even needed that heal spell. So pretty much overpowered this base with a simple uh, but effective tip in attacking is that you can also use your hybrid to tank for the queen. And that's really important because if you want to do the hybrid most effectively, you really want to keep the queen alive. And that would, that would really help for most attacks. So with three seconds to spare, we get that triple. Here's the final one. It's a little bit of a smaller tip, but I'm still going to show you the entire attack. So it's a ring base, so we're going to do something similar to the plan. Uh, but the um, the core isn't as big, like there aren't the two scatter shots right next to the town hall. So we're not going to do the same plan as the first ring base we saw. We're going to do something a little bit similar. So Queen Charge going to directly into this Inferno Tower. We're going to take it out before it takes out our Queen. And then we're going to let the Queen pick which direction she wants to go in. 
So she chooses the top side, which means that we're going to prepare to try to save the queen uh, in such a way that we can also um, save the queen and she can survive for the rest of the base and uh, take out a couple of defenses along the way. How we're going to do that is we're going to drop the king and the uh, or the king on the top side and all the hybrid on the uh, eight o'clock side around there. So king on the DE drill, hybrid going down, and now we're able to just use the queen ability if we have to in order to save the queen. And now with the bottom side, we actually drop the RC in order to take out the eagle. Because there's no way that with the queen going this way uh, and the hybrid going the top side, that we're going to be able to take out the eagle fast enough in order to take out the rest of the base. So we take out the eagle with the RC, so then it only gets uh, one set of shots off. Now the blimp going towards the town hall. And that's going to be able to take down the town hall. It's a little bit close there because of the scatter shot taking down the uh, sneaky goblins. But we are able to take that down. And then we just have to overwhelm the rest of the base with spells and the queen. Which we're eventually going to be able to do. And that's going to be the it for the rest of that base. So, again, if you want to check out more raids in Legend League, uh, I post them on my other channel, Race Gaming 2, because I don't want to uh, fill this whole channel with daily videos of Legend League, and because that's not what everyone subscribed for. So I want to have a variety of things, but I want to focus on commentary on this channel while I can just post um, whatever action that you guys want to see on the other channel. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.